What's up, Sushi Squad? We are back in some more Trojan and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the new Solarian packs. Now, these might end up changing when they end up going to the live server, but generally speaking, I think I think it's safe to say that we can make this one video reviewing all of the items in each of these individual packs and then you could just refer to this one whenever the update ends up actually going live but we don't really know when that is so each of these different packs is going to end up giving you different items the odd thing is that what they did with the solarian is very very different and a little bit unorthodox compared to what they ended up doing with all of the other classes so if we scroll down a little bit here you can see that there's the bard pack for example example or, or you guys know about the vanguard pack and basically they'll have like oh here's the bard pack it gives you a couple costumes and gives you the bard itself or here's the more expensive version of the pack that gives you the same items in the cheaper pack but also some additional items as well the solarian is going to end up being something altogether different where each of these packs is going to give you the class okay so you can get the cheapest pack and then you'll be perfectly fine however each of these packs actually gives items that the other packs don't. So this pack you can see gives us a costume and an ally and stuff. Whereas this uh, pack right here actually gives us a completely different costume and ally and so on and so forth. So uh, basically for those that are collecting mastery and aren't really shying away from, you know, pay to win or even just buying these packs, uh, you would essentially have to buy all three of these packs in order to end up getting all of the items, which equals somewhere around like 50 bucks. So honestly speaking, as far as cash shop is concerned, it's far better than the Bard pack, which ends up being over 80 with tax. And that's also American prices as well. Top that with the fact that these are also for credits, which does mean that technically they're free to play approachable. So it's not a cash only thing, right? Anyways, we'll be talking about each of the different items that you get out of these packs. Uh, I think I've got them all unlocked properly. So it should be in order, uh, except for the wings. I don't know why the fiery wings are unlocked down here, even though they're actually part of the third pack. But my goal today is we're going to try and uh, hopefully do this in order, right? So first and foremost, we're going to be talking about the Solarian Spark Pack. So all this pack is going to include is the Floral Fowler, Fowler costume and the Portobelli Ally, which this guy is going to end up giving you 7 jump 100 light. That's all there really is to it. But it's going to end up being this costume, which is kind of like a Chloromancer theme. And then this little mushroom guy, which the whole theme of this update uh, and the reason why this little mushroom guy is important is because he's actually an enemy that's tied to the new biome. Uh, sorry, I want to change off my subclass here because I'm tired of just growing big and stuff because my stupid little bird is doing its thing uh, but this is going to end up being the costume itself it is going to end up changing your phoenix so that's kind of neat uh, and then it also actually changes the video effects as well so here's our charge shot right there pretty neat and then you can see even the damage over time effect is going to end up being slightly different here's our normal shots which has tons and tons of pedals kind of annoying honestly speaking also we get to see a sneak peek of the new uh solarian hud bar which they ended up changing uh, on the test server lots of this stuff is constantly changing so you have to excuse if videos um are inconsistent so sometimes i'll have a video that was recorded before this change but sometimes there will be after whatever uh so here's going to end up being our number one ability which looks pretty cool if you just hold it down it's kind of a 3d-ish effect and then when you end up planting it there you go you got a bunch of uh, flowers down on the ground a little too much vfx for me personally but hey whatever and then our ultimate ability is just gonna throw tons of flowers down just non-stop kind of really annoying uh, for me again, just because it's a little too much, but whatever. Anyways, that's what you're going to end up getting out of this pack, including again, I want to reiterate the Solarian as well. So this next pack for 3,500 credits is going to contain the Solarian, uh, his new, uh, another costume, uh, an ally, a mount, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll kind of look at these uh, right here on the sidebar. Let me get this off of my screen. So here's the disarmed ally, which is going to be this little cutums right here. Uh, he gives 100 light and 6 jump. Then there's going to end up being the mount, the costumes, and I don't know why it's still... Oh, because I didn't re-equip the ally itself. Right. Uh, and then there's also going to end up being the unnatural devices, ominous, om, omnibus, whatever. So this produces 18 unnatural devices when fully charged. It's a legendary tome, which means it's a weekly tome. Uh, what we, you can only end up doing it once per week. 
but the items that you get out of this are quite literally going to end up being items that you'll find in the new biome so it's a new crafting component that is going to end up being valuable at the beginning and then uh, you know of this update and then once uh, the update ends up becoming more regular it's not going to end up being as big of a deal we got a disgusting mount here i really don't know why we've got a giant weird worm centipede thing it's just kind of disgusting in a lot of ways it does remind me of a bug's life except that was cute this is grotesque so yeah there it is uh, and then there's gonna be this costume which i actually really really like this costume just because it's all the cthulhu themed and stuff like that so here's our bird it looks really cursed it doesn't even have a beak anymore uh our main attack is going to end up changing our shots to purple which is kind of crazy it kind of has a big spark effect which i kind of like uh our right click charge a shot is going to look like this which again really really cool and then if we hold our number one down you can see it's fairly similar vfx it seems like they kind of just slightly changed it but when we throw it down it's going to end up having a big eye of sauron looking on the ground and the thing that i kind of like about it is we actually get to see the eye fully expand out to show when the spell is going to be over once it ends up reaching its maximum uh, and then our ultimate ability is just going to end up being even more eyeballs which once again is way too much video effects but at least it's not as intrusive as the um uh, I don't know as the as the other one was i think anyways but that's going to end up being the items you get out of that one and then the big boy pack for five thousand credits i feel like this is going to end up being the pack that a lot of people will end up going for if not just because it gives a lot of really cool stuff uh not to mention the new wings obviously which wait till you get a load of these bad boys so we've actually got two tomes to look at just before we uh move into the actual gameplay uh, so produce 15 supercharged crystals when fully charged again it's a legendary tome and it's resources from uh, the biome the new biome and then there's going to end up being the ashen version so this is going to end up being a standard tome rather than a legendary tome which means that you can constantly keep grinding this one out over and over and over again uh, again very very valuable just in the sense of this new update you know it's not like this resource is going to end up working retroactively it's something that is just used for all of the new goodies right uh but anyways there's going to end up being this little ally right here uh there's also going to end up being a uh well this costume which looks pr quite atrocious i don't even know if i took a good look at this costume come to think of it uh but before we do that let's look at the mount bum, bum. it's a dread reskin so that's always cool uh, i actually really like this one it kind of looks stupid but it's kind of neat at the same time just because it's like a fully constructed evil robot thing it just i i don't know what it is but i like it i like the fact that he's got the teeth down on the bottom and stuff and it's it's a dreadnought reskin which obviously is going to end up generating a lot of attention because people love the dreadnought skins uh but anyways here's going to end up being our little bird guy right here who just loves attacking these training dummies they're like food to him uh and then here's our shots so you can see our shots have a lot of video effects on them because they have all of the musical uh shots going on uh our right click is going to end up being a little bit more subtle than the other costumes that we've seen uh but the uh damage over time effects are well they're kind of weird you'll you'll see them a little bit but uh oh i should also mention that the ally does 250 light seven percent attack speed and damaging enemies a chance to blast them with fire it will also gain 15 percent health when a nearby enemy dies you gain 15 percent health and you gain movement speed boost when a nearby enemy dies as well so this could potentially end up being one of the top allies actually which is kind of odd that they've put it into a cost or a store pack but hey whatever uh our number one attack which you can see looks kind of neat i don't know it's kind of got the whole neon vibe going for it but it's it's way too much video effects from my eyes like uh, again subtlety makes all the difference for me but hey whatever and then we use our ultimate ability and once again it's got a little too much going on for it uh most of all i'm thinking like you can already barely see what's going on in trove anyways let alone if you end up popping an ult like this right and then of course there's going to end up being the wings but there's also something else um you also just get 50 sunder charge crystals which if i'm not mistaken those are yeah these are the items from the five star dungeons specifically in the new biome which is pretty crazy i was wondering why i ended up getting 50 of them so i guess it's just from the new pack uh funny enough you'll see that the description of this changed since we ended up uh having the crystal gem video because they actually ended up adding some cash shop 
uh, boxes to the store that will quite literally drop uh, the resources that are needed for the new area, which I cannot in good conscience recommend that you buy them because buying resources is always superfluous and very, very expensive and very, very stupid. Like it just never ends up being worthwhile. But if we do slash pose, you can see these wings, which uh, those of you that have gotten the other version of these wings, I know you're sitting there and I know you're pissed. <laughs> Frankly speaking, when I saw these, I laughed just because I thought how ridiculous it was. Now, you can see that there's a lot of different video effects overlaying with these wings, okay? Uh, but I'll explain in a moment why this is such a big deal and why this kind of sucks. Uh, but you can see that there's the pinata, uh, you know, pinata wing effect going on. I think we got a little bit of the old school shadow wing effect going on as well. Uh, but most of all, you'll notice just this constant barrage of flames where it's the same video effects over and over again. So there's actually the, the rarest wings in the entire game are currently obtained from Paragon pinatas. And they have like a, it's like a 1% chance to drop or something ridiculous. Like it's, it's insane, right? Like these wings are impossible to get. But I ended up having a video talking about those wings when we ended up having the Paragon update on the test server because on the test server, you were able to buy an infinite amount uh, of the Paragon pinatas. And I luckily was able to get one set of these wings out of 10,000 pinatas, which is ridiculous. Just to put it out there, just how rare these wings are. And for them to just put these wings in the game that are basically a reskin of those Paragon pinata wings, but now they're just fire themed, is such a slap in the face <laughs> to anyone that ended up getting the Paragon wings, you know? Like obviously the Paragon wings still have their value just because they're extremely rare, but it's just hilarious how quickly they ended up just reskinning them and making it in a, into a store pack that you could just easily end up buying. I don't know, that's my two cents towards it. But either way, I think that pretty much covers everything that is in each of these store packs. Uh, again, I'll use your, you guys use your own discretion of whether or not you wanna end up buying any of these suckers. For me personally, I'm probably just gonna buy all of them because they'll give me mastery. And once again, it's pretty affordable. As far as Trove Cash Shop is concerned, 50 bucks to get like all of these items worth of mastery, not even including the class itself, and I mean, hey, I'll take it. Now that said, lastly, I do want to reiterate, each one of these packs will give you the Solarian. So if there's only one pack that you're interested in, that's fine. You can just get that and you'll still get the class. Anyways, thanks for watching gamers. Really appreciate it. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel and have a wonderful day.